Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in AB, AF, and in GF by method of sections. We have to make a section like this because this section cuts all the three members. We can take either the left side or the right side. If we take the left side, we have to find the reactions in the points A and G. So it is better to take the right side and find the member forces because no need to find the reactions. We need to find the length of BF for the distance of 6 meter. The height is 1.5. So for 6, it is 1.5. But I need the height at the distance of 4. So we have to multiply with the 4. In this way, for the length of BF, we will get 1 meter. To find FIB, we have to take moment about F because it is easy. When we take moment about F, we should not consider FIF, FFG, 1 kN. The remaining forces are FIB, 2 and 3. 3 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. So 3 into 4. This load is also acting in the clockwise direction. So it is also positive and the distance is 2. FIB is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 1. For FIB, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. We need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use the tan theta formula. Tan theta is 1.5 upon 6. Using that for theta, we will get 14.03. To find f of g, we can take moment about a. It will be easy. When we take moment about a, we should not consider FAF, FAB. The remaining forces are F of G, 1, 2 and 3. 1, 2 and 3 are acting in the clockwise direction. So all of them will be positive. For 3, the distance is 6. For 2, the distance is 4. For 1, the distance is 2. We can resolve F of G in the horizontal direction. To keep it in the horizontal direction, we need this angle. If this angle is 14.03, this angle also should be 14.03. Now about the point A, F of G is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 1.5. Then we have to multiply with the cos 14.03. For F of G, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. We need to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta is 1 upon 2. Using that for theta, we will get 26.56. To find the FIF, we can take moment about D. When we take moment about D, we should not consider 3. FAB and F of G. The remaining forces are FIF 1 and 2. These two loads are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So both of them are negative. For 1, the distance is 4. For 2, the distance is 2. We can resolve FIF vertically in the point A. To keep it vertical, we need this angle. That will be 90 minus 26.56. So we will get 63.44. Now about the point D, FAF is acting in the clockwise direction. So that it will be positive and the distance is 6. And we have to multiply with the cos 63.44. For FAF, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. 